Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Auto Outdoorsman. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Hidden Woodsman Possibles pouches. And I should actually be calling them the Endless Possibilities pouches. Um, so these are pouches I've been using for over a year. Um, I actually have one of also the prototype ones. Uh, that's a bit on the bigger side. But I've been using what his current model is. Um, what his main color is at the moment is actually ranger green um, but he generally does also run sometimes special colors every once in a while as i have um cryptic and yellow here um, so i i can bring in to show you what's in my uh cryptic one but i've actually already shown you what is in my ranger green one and in my yellow one already um, i have done two separate videos on these uh, in my green one, I actually do keep this as my first aid kit. And my yellow one is a uh, survival kit that I've built that has a uh, Vargo bot that has a bunch of goodies in it. Um, so both of these are a little bit more complex kits that I do keep. Now, I really love these pouches and I should disclose something. I am friends with Malcolm, uh, the mate who is the uh, uh, owner, designer, and creator of these pouches. And that should also disclose that doesn't matter. I still love these pouches. Uh, <laughs> I am very honest and unbiased with my opinions, and even when there's something I do and don't like, I do tell him. Um, I've been using these for a long time, and I've been very vocal to him how much I do like these kit, how much I do like these pouches. Um, and when I actually saw these, and I made this, it was basically exactly what I needed for my survival kit. And it, a survival kit project I'd been working on for about a year at the time, and completed that kit. Um, again, there will be end cards to this first aid kit and the survival kit at the end of this video. Um, so one of the reasons, why do I like these? Well, organization. Um, as one of my food heroes says, uh, organ as my food hero Alton Brown says, organization will set you free. And that is very true with your kit. Having, being able to have something set into separate bags, be able to organize it out. I do have some smaller pouches as well, some made by him, some not. Um, being able to have a separate first aid kit, being able to have all my kind of my regular bits and bobs put together because this is kind of my bushcraft kit or my just kind of miscellaneous stuff that I need when I'm out in the woods kit or having a, a survival kit that I have carabiners set on the side of these so what I can do is I can actually strap it, I attach it to both of the shoulder straps at the bottom of my backpack or as I did in another video, um, show that you can strap it to, uh, with certain pants, you can strap it to the pant loops um, to carry it as kind of like a fanny pack. Um, it's, a, it's a cool product. Um, and having, having all your stuff in a pouch like this helps you stay organized. And in the woods, organization is important. And having a, pack, a pouch like this, where everything at the top is like this, and if you have it stacked up in your pack, like I often do like this, and sometimes I have two pouches like this stacking up, I can just reach down, look at the two different colors, and go, okay, I need this pouch. And I can kind of just reach down, grab it, pull up, grab the exact pouch I need, open it up, and because they're wide enough and have that zipper, down there, I can reach in, grab what I need, take it out, zip it back up, and continue on. Um, having it also like this, I can hang it up on a tree, zip it open just a little bit, reach in, zip it back up, and it has a tab down at the bottom that does that. Let me bring you back. In, let me bring you in. I'll show you what's in my uh, my bushcraft kit, and I'll, I'll give you a kind of okay. Closer so look at here's the pouch. The pouch. Um, as I said, has a hand strap right here which is why I like to occasionally keep it up in the, in the pack like this, so I can reach in, pull it up, 
also does have a tab down here that I've been known to put a carabiner through to attach to both sides to strap it to the bottom of my pack, um, at least with my uh, survival kit. Now, on here it has a zipper that allows you to open it up and you can keep all your goodies inside. Um, in it, I tend to carry some rope, things like work gloves, so I always like having some good hardy gloves in my pack, bandana, ferro rod and a striker, flashlight, back of ferro rod, different type of rope, and it's actually big enough to hold if you like carrying a Laplander actually big enough to carry a Baco Laplander, which is really nice if you like having that kit. I also like carrying a knife. Um, I also carry this reflector because I often carry this with me camping, and it's used generally for my um, UCO candle lantern. Um, I bring it more than I use my candle lantern, and a lighter. And usually I'm pretty stuffed with all that, but I can sometimes shove in a couple more bits and bobs. But as I said, you can fit a good fair number of things in there. And it's pretty easy once you kind of get in the flow of it. You can kind of just shove everything in there. And all you need to do is kind of just, I said, all you need to do is just kind of shove it in there because it can take it. The, the stitching on this stuff, I mean, I've, I've abused this stuff. I've abused these. And these things can take any amount of pushing that you can do. There you go. He doesn't make them in, uh, at the time of me filming this, he doesn't make them in this color anymore. But uh, keep your eye on his store uh, to see what colors he has them in. Because he usually, he often changes up the colors of these. As I said, these pouches have become an integral part of my kit. Um, and I highly recommend them. Um, I've bought multiples of these. And I'm probably going to buy more once I find more kits that I need them for. Uh, I kind of buy them as I need them, so to speak, for myself. But, as I said, they're perfect for first aid kits, survival kits if you need them, keeping your, your stuff together, um, whatever you need, keeping things organized. Um, so I'll put a link down to his website down below as to where you can find them. Um, all the information, price, colors, and everything. Um, I'm going to defer to his website because honestly, with prices and colors, that stuff can change. And often my video, no matter what company I talk about, and often my video will stay stagnant. So I'll just post a link down below and you guys can take a look, find what you like, and let them know that I sent you. But again, it's been a review of the Hidden Woodsman Possible Pouches. You guys have a good day. Remember, get in the woods, have some fun, stay organized. See everyone.